I'm trying to get through this as quick as I can, guys, because there's a lot of, uh, this is our shovel right here. All right, so we, we run our shovel with power rules and leave the defensive end unblocked. All right, so it's just our power rules with the arc scheme from the tight end. So it'd be like running power arc. Tight end's gonna block anything in the alley. Everybody else blocks power. And our guard now pulls for front side backer and we pitch off the defensive end. If the end comes up field, we pitch it. If the end closes like he's doing right here, then now the quarterback gives, or the running back gives a go call. And now the back will go ahead and lead up for the running back right here. So this is just another you know, nice little thing you can do off the Wildcat package. Take me through that again. Okay, the rules on that, Paul, is, okay. Okay, the rules on this are just uh, everybody's blocking power. Let me get it to a good spot here. Everybody's blocking power. Guard, tackle, center, backside guard, backside tackle, all blocking power. And now we don't have anybody to block the defensive end because the tight end's going to arc. So the defensive end, we're going to, it's an upside down option. So it's like a poor man's option. So if the defensive end comes up field, quarterback gets to seven yards depth with a little bit of width and pitches it to him at two yards. If the end squeezes, then now it just becomes a keep for the quarterback. And now the back will go ahead and get a go call and the quarterback will keep it on the perimeter and the back will become an extra blocker in space. So it's a, just an upside down option basically is what it is. Back one more time, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 